Let's start with this health care for Hillary Clinton. NBC's Andrea Mitchell on the story this morning. Andrea, good morning to you. Good morning, Savannah. Hillary Clinton has canceled that California trip scheduled for today and tomorrow after her doctor ordered her to rest. Even as questions are being raised about why she kept her diagnosis of pneumonia secret for 48 hours. Hillary Clinton recovering at home this morning after Sunday's health scare. Clinton's doctor Lisa Bardock announcing eight hours after the Democratic nominee left the 9-11 ceremony that Clinton was diagnosed with pneumonia on Friday. News withheld from reporters at the time after a prolonged cough evident last week in Cleveland. <coughs> Every time I think about Trump, I get allergic. Departing early with video later surfacing on Twitter showing the candidate nearly collapsing as staffers helped her into her van. Her feet seen here dragging along the ground. Reporters covering Clinton were left hanging. No details from her campaign about where she was going or what had happened until a short statement later announcing Clinton felt overheated during the event and had traveled to her daughter Chelsea's apartment a few miles away. Clinton later emerging without assistance saying she was on the mend. Are you feeling better? Yes, thank you very much. Greeting a young girl before boarding her van and heading home. Clinton's doctor says she was put on antibiotics and advised to rest and modify her schedule before attending Sunday's 9-11 Remembrance, where her doctor says she became overheated and dehydrated. Fifteen months ago, a two-page medical report detailing her most serious health issue. Her doctor writing that in December of 2012, Mrs. Clinton suffered a stomach virus after traveling, became dehydrated, fainted, and sustained a concussion. She was hospitalized, doctors later finding a blood clot, requiring blood thinning medication, which she still takes. And a month later, she had to wear special glasses when first testifying about Benghazi. In 1998, Clinton also had a clot, a deep vein thrombosis in her leg, prompting this question. You've had at least two clots. Um, how does that factor into a decision about whether to run for president and all the flying that that entails? It doesn't factor in at all. I mean, uh... There's never a good time for a candidate to get sick in the middle of a campaign, of course, but the way Clinton has handled this has likely made it a lot worse, especially since Donald Trump has been trying to make such a big issue out of her health. Savannah.